The U.S. Supreme Court recently struck down human gene patents in a unanimous ruling, so now we're questioning what the ruling could mean for the future of medical research. There are many possibilities. Some contend the patent ban will open the doors to greater research, while others maintain all genetic discoveries should be awarded a patent. The initial debate started with Myriad Genetics. The Utah-based biotech company argued it should be able to keep the patents on its discovery of genes that help identify the likelihood of breast and ovarian cancers in women. It's Critics said that caused a monopoly, as Myriad had a patent on the genes and was the only provider of the test, which cost about four grand. Opponents of Myriad's patent said just because the company removed the genes from cells doesn't necessarily mean that it owns them. An attorney that challenged the gene patents told Al Jazeera. It's analogous to saying, you know, once a doctor removes a kidney from your body for transplant, that somehow the doctor has invented that kidney and can now obtain a patent on it. The gene removed from your body is still a gene. Because of Myriad's patent on the genes, which it obtained back in the 90s, other researchers were worried about doing work with the genes out of fear of being sued. CBS points out the Supreme Court's ruling will potentially boost patient care and lower prices. Steve Croft, a professor of pathology and spokesperson for the American Society for Clinical Pathology, said, This ruling is correcting something that was probably a bit off-kilter for many years. In this new age of genetic medicine, it's setting the stage for great advances to come. It's going to improve access, lower costs, and allow for innovation that wouldn't have happened otherwise. But proponents of gene patents say the ban will potentially hinder innovation in the future. A partner at an intellectual property law firm in Houston, Texas, told Everyday Health, The value of the patent system is that it spurs innovation. Some people attribute the entire industrial success of America to our patent system. The point is that if you can't have patents on the genes you find, researchers aren't going to want to spend money on that to bring it to the public. Still, Myriad says it will be able to maintain patents on much of its research, including on cDNA, which is synthesized from scratch. For Newsy, I'm Lauren Gorris.